There are unfortunately far too many people in the LGBT community who treat any complaints or critiques of the activism that comes from the LGBT community, I mean, if they're gay anyway, are just trying to be a pick-me gay, you know, when things turn to shit. I mean, if they're not gay and they criticize the activism in the community, then they're considered a bigoted homophobe. It's like people know that things are going to turn to shit for us in the LGBT community, but they refuse to lift a finger to do anything to stop that from happening. They instead seem to think that providing the worst examples is somehow the answer, as if they're saying, I dare you to criticize this. Well, some people are eventually going to take you up on that, on that offer. If you know things are likely going to turn to shit for us, why aren't you trying to convince people that not all LGBT people are like the crazy activists? You know, that many of us just want to live our lives. We're not trying to dismantle gender, patriarchy, cis-heteronormativity, white supremacy, or any other systems that have been deemed oppressive. Being LGBT shouldn't dictate how we feel about much of anything. Just like someone being an atheist shouldn't dictate the notion that they have certain socio-political views either. If you think it's important to dismantle all these systems using a neo-Marxist methodology or whatever methodology, that's fine. But not all of us are radical activists. And yes, trying to dismantle those systems and completely change society from underneath is radical. That's a radical idea. It's extreme. So again, many of us are tired of being lumped in with that activism. The activism is clearly and blatantly hurting us. It's as if we all need to stand together no matter what, even when we can see there's something blatantly wrong. We expect different groups to call out problems on their side, especially when it's like straight white Christian males, right? And our side should be no different. We need to tackle some of these issues that people have the most problems with. And not just call anyone who doesn't like the activism a bigot. Questioning equals hate, according to this type of mindset. For instance, as I've said before, there currently is no evidence that people are born homosexual or with gender dysphoria. I'm not saying it's a conscious choice, but there are a lot of factors that can come into place in someone's earliest years. Factors that could cause a mental reflex. Most gay men did not have fathers growing up, or they had bad relationships with their fathers. Most gay men feel that stereotypical straight male sexuality is degrading to women. Many gay men experienced unwanted sexual scenarios as a young kid. None of these things suggest that it's a conscious choice people make. But just my saying this can lead a number of people to say that I am a homophobe. I hate queer people. I don't, but that's the current environment. Just saying.